Hello guys, this is Anjali Vakas Ahmed and today I'm going to help you people to understand global change, the feature which will help planning engineers to make their life very easy. How and what are the methods to understand this feature in Primavera P6? I'm going to share with you a few slides to understand basics of global change. So global change is basically uh, allows, it's a big uh, feature in Primavera P6, it will allow users to make wide spread changes. Whenever you are going to talk about global change or somebody in your office is going to uh, talk about global change, first thing come up in your mind that it is going to change your database. And across a project are multiple projects within a database. The first thing, global change, there is a change word. It will stick in your memory that it is going to change something. What it is going to change something? The feature can apply changes to various aspects of a project such as activity duration, resource assignment, cost and more by executing predefined or custom rules and conditions. What does mean by that? Changes, the first thing you have to keep in your mind and then our project different attributes. I mean by that activity attributes. Activity attributes, duration, that is a data. Resource assignment, that is an activity data. Resource cost activity, uh, activity cost, that is an data. So these are the major things. Now I will give you an example. I have a project schedule in which I have 1000 activities. Let's say, take a simple project example. Now give me the situation, what if I need to change this 1000 activities and I'm done with my project scheduling. My all activities are scheduled. Now a new feature, new change request has been requested by my consultant client or by my inner team members that I need to change duration for these 1000 activities, okay, by like five days for every activity. So what I need to do, I need to update activity duration one by one. I will feel very pain and sympathy for you planning engineers. But Primavera P6 will not leave you alone in this pain situation. It will help you by providing you global change feature. You got my point? So that's where Primavera P6 will provide you a feature. You can automatically update your 1000 activities duration in single clicks. In accurate way, error free way, either it is duration for activities, either it is resource assignments you want to update for your certain activities. Either it is cost based data updation for your certain activities and further you can make filtration as well. How you can do that? It's very simple. I'm going to explain the same thing and uh, let's move on to the next slide and uh, how we can uh, have this requirement to be fulfilled by Primavera P6. The global chain utility uses a conditional statement. Just give me a moment. I'll be see here conditional statement here what is that conditional statement if then else we have been studying all these things in programming C++ or in mathematics in our eighth ninth class mathematics there are some symbols greater than less than if condition then else like these things so you know revise those memories it will help you to and it's very simple even here no problem I will make more simplify for you people if then else a lot of job interviewers will ask you this thing the global change feature of Primavera P6 is working on the logic base then it's up to you what is the answer if then else these are the three statements okay and uh, identify the set of data that matches the specified conditions and then applies the desired changes to this, this data. How? See, it's a powerful tool for making bulk updates and uh, I will be sharing Primavera P6 dashboard to visualize you people that how you can see global change over here. So whenever you are going to activate your global change feature in Primavera P6, you have to go into tools and there are predefined templates. You can click any one of these templates and you can make modify and see if this is the condition, then if this condition is going to fulfill, then Primavera P6 automatically execute this condition defined by you people. Okay. And else 
if this condition is not true then this condition should be fulfilled so that's why it is called if then else and on the top you can see on the basis of your data either it is activity attributes resource attributes or cost or expense attributes you have to select one of these things okay so i'm going to close this window and uh, we will come up again on this window just i was there to show you that how if then else looks like this logic so the first thing you have to memorize that uh, if then else this statement is a conditional logic used to perform different actions based on whether a specific condition is true or false let's say i'm going to uh, i have to incorporate a big data about cost duration activity codes cost accounts so that would be my if statement i have to compile my if statement then i have to take action this would be action statement and if this is not true then this statement will be executed in the context of primavera p6 and here if checks for a condition same thing i have explained just now then execute an action and else i will go through few uh, exercise examples as well to make you more sure about this feature don't worry about this is not only theoretical it is a practical kind of thing and uh, here we are and next uh, see identify the first thing i will go into more details uh, what does mean by data data means your dates your cost your resources simple you have to identify what is assignment given to you your project manager has assigned you that i need critical activities to be enhanced by duration like five percent you got my point just write down it so what i was talking about duration so what is data my data is duration okay if there is cost my data is cost if there is a resource assignment kind of thing i want to change my data belongs to resource assignment so these are project activity attributes i need to be very sure about that and then formulating conditions if else are then formulating conditions that accurately identify the target data let's say i will give you an example that if i need to change my see i will be writing here if my activities on credit critical path this is the statement if my activities on critical path critical path activities yes this is the if statement i want to change my activities on critical path uh, duration for two days more like i want to add two days more in the activities on critical path so if my critical activities this is showing critical activities c for critical activities in primavera p6 is showing everything so this is actually formulating condition then what will happen duration original duration should be original duration is equal to this one this is this is then simple so this is formulating conditions actually and now the third point is specifying actions that is the then or whatever i have write original duration is equal to original duration plus two so this is the actually explanation of if then else statement now i will give you an examples example let's say my project manager will ask me uh, that uh, vakas you are supposed to make adjustment of activity durations what is the scenario i will write down this scenario over here it's not like that oh this is very difficult no how global change will work i will be explaining you just write down this on the paper this is my title for the assignment and i will identify my data over here this is my data see this is my data it belongs to duration okay i understand it it it's activity duration now you want to extend the duration for all activities labeled as critical all the activities on the critical path no activity should be included which belongs to non critical path this is my first condition by two days okay by two days to account for anticipated higher management decided that they want add two days on critical path 
activities okay so this is my scenario now uh, what i am going to do i am going to share this is actually global change steps the first thing what i am going to do in primavera p6 i am going to add a global change uh, filter define a condition now i have to tell primavera p6 that this condition is applicable for all those activities which are critical you got my point and then then statement will come up over here my original duration will be enhanced by two days okay and then the third thing execute so here I'm going to share with Primavera P6 and uh, see over here. This is Primavera P6. And uh, here we are in tools, global change. You can add your new uh, global change filter over here, new and uh, activities. Okay, this attribute belongs to activities. So where my critical, all the activities are critical. I will push click PC on my dashboard, uh, keyboard. See where it's critical is equal all the activities should be critical okay so by defining this condition i am excluding i am telling primavera p6 that there should not be any non critical activity this condition i am going to define is, is only for the critical activities then statement add and original duration o this is original duration is equal to this is now mathematical equation i want to add two days so there are two things, okay, uh, original duration, again, in e every activity, there are two kind of, uh, you know, instructions, I want to uh, add 5% extra, whatever existing duration is in every activity, then I will go for here multiplication by percentage over here, if I want to add only simply two days, then there is custom and two days, 2D, see, and uh, change okay just just give me a moment like this one okay just uh, see okay the d is not uh, okay now you can see this is actually temporary thing it's going to give you see this this window will pop up this window is temporary change what is temporary change mean it's going to give you before permanent change it's going to give you okay my these critical activities over here and uh, my original duration for this activity was 20 days 22 every activity has been enhanced by two days you can see but it is temporary change if you want to make your Primavera P6 file permanently change, you have to click on commit changes. Once you will click on it, it will be applicable permanently on your Primavera P6. So that's how global change will work. I will not uh, make it permanently change, commit changes. I will be sharing with you Primavera P6 dashboard again. I will be closing this window. Just give me a moment. Okay, just I'm sharing with you again because all windows are open up. So I want to close and again, I will be sharing. So that's how you are going to make your global chain applicable on your project schedule. This is simple project, but you have extensive 1000, 2000 and 10,000 activities and you may change your activity duration, cost, dates, many things are there. You can see over here, I will give you a more insight over here, see. There is modification button and you can see over here there are big big these are the variables you can assign on your conditions if else and then and if i will share with you people uh, there is a uh, see over here see this word document i'm going to share with you people as an assignment adjusting at duration for overdue activities objective increase the duration of overdue activities to reflect a realistic timeline. This is a very beneficial global change. Filter our templates. See, you have to make like this and observe the changes. Make a sample project. Releasing resources for high priority tasks. 
then see everything is made over here first go for global change basic duration cost kind of changes on your project schedule then uh, practice this template this is very beneficial a series of global change if then else statements so that's it i hope this feature is going to help you a lot while you are going to make your project big changes in a few or little time thank you very much